What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing a Europa League road to the final card that has just came out and it is going to be Darwin Machis. Now it's very unexpected to them to actually release this card. But I'm not sad about it because this card right here is looking absolutely ridiculous. He's got 96 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting, 84 passing with a 79 physicals as well. He is 5 foot 9, high medium work rates, 4 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot as well. Just by looking at this screen right here, he looks absolutely amazing. Now the thing is, Granada are matching up against Manchester United up next. And you already know how it is. I'm a United fan, so I'm out here thinking to myself, this card is most likely not going to get upgraded. But even without an upgrade, look at the stats. I've applied the Marksman Chem style onto this card. And giving him the extra finishing shot power and long shots is obviously going to be huge. But giving him that plus 5 to reactions is going to make the biggest of difference. And obviously giving the plus 10 to strength, it will also be the biggest of difference as well. Now the pace, he's got 98 acceleration with a 95 sprint speed. So so you best believe this guy is about to be rapid. Shooting ability, 84 attacking positioning, 95 finishing, 99 shot power, 98 long shots, 64 volleys with the 85 penalties as well. Has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. But hey, his shooting ability looks disgustingly good. Left foot being the four star weak foot as well. It should be going in with either foot, like straight up. Passing ability doesn't actually look too bad. Like his 82 vision, 90 crossing, 83 free kick accuracy, 84 short passing, 81 long passing with a 74 curve as well. I feel like he's going to be one of those players that you are going to have to keep it a bit more simple with. Not just, you know, going for these crazy over top through balls because I doubt it will be very, very consistent. But he would still be able to do it with the 82 vision that he has and the 81 long passing as well. But look at the dribbling. The dribbling stats look disgustingly good for a 5 foot 9 player. 99 agility straight up, 99 balance, 81 reactions with the marksman chem star applied, 98 ball control, 98 dribbling with a 79 composure. I'm expecting this guy to feel like an absolute god on that ball. And when it comes down to the physicals, he has got 99 jumping, 86 stamina, 83 strength with the 83 aggression as well. Now, when it comes down to the links, he does come from the La Liga. But the problem is, he doesn't come from a great nationality when it comes down to links in this game. And he also doesn't come from the greatest club when it comes down to links in this game. So if you're going to use this guy, you're most likely are going to use him around icons like I have. Or you're going to use him around La Liga players. So I've personally gone for Deco and my boy Carlos Alberto. I will be using Machis in a 4-4-2 in that striker position just to see how he is, you know, moving and getting goals in that striker position. But I will try him in his natural position as well in the 4-2-3-1 in that land position but let's get into these games mason mount give it to my cheese can we get an early goal oh my god what a save from oblak that was a really nice turn from him by the way just getting that quick fake shot to get the angle for the shot was really nice for that middle nice movement fake shot up Go for the power shot. Oh my. I thought for a second Puyo was actually going to get a block there. But we do slot it straight into the corner. Curtis Jones. Is he going to make that movement? He does. Okay. So he does move it into those open spaces. I think it's offside. Yeah, it is going to be offside. I like how he made the movement diagonal. It's like, it's telling me that he's not a player that's just going to stay centrally. And if he is, you know, if he can see the open spaces to the side, he will be making the runs into it. Virgil. Give it to Manchis. A nice little scoop turn. Good little dribbling there. He feels nice on the ball. I, it's not, I must admit, it's not as nice as I thought he was going to feel, which is kind of disappointing in a way because, you know, you've seen the 99 agility and you see the 98 dribbling in general, and you think he's going to feel absolutely insane. And I must admit, he doesn't feel crazy, crazy good, but he still does feel agile on the ball. He's doing Kante. Like, just, oh, this is dirty. No, we can't get it around Sol Campbell. Deco. To Machis. Oh my god, that's such a good pass. I'm going to go back towards that near post. Use the four-star weak foot. I must admit, wasn't the greatest shot. I was expecting it to go a bit more into that corner. Maybe to Machis. Well played. Good shielding. Good scoop turn as well. And Oblak is still going to pull out the save. I'm kind of surprised because that's like a very, very good angle in this game as well. Machis on the ball. Give it to Giroud. Give it back to him. Going to flick that pass. Puyol. That's perfect. Keep going. Going to go for that cross goal finish. Are we going to get the goal? And he misses the whole goal. I have no idea what, am I, what I'm seeing on my screen right now. Is it just this game that is absolutely rigging it? Because for me, 
a player that has his finishing ability should easily be finishes, finishing these chances. He's made that movement. I'm actually going to tell him to make a run just so he can use his pace to get in behind. That's ridiculous. Hill to hill. Lacaqueta canto. I'm going to sweat it across. And we all know. We all know. Moments Giroud is never. And I mean never going to miss from there. Even with the week that he actually has. But boys. It was very nice for him. Very nice. He used these pace to get in behind Puyol. And we all know Puyol is not the fastest of centre-backs. So it was very easy to him to outpace him. But Puyol did do a decent amount, you know, to catch him up. But then we did a lack of care to cancel to create the angle. It's a good pass. Hit it down the line. Oh, he's done well. He's done so well. Can I get someone to cut back? There was not a in one individual there. Not one individual that actually cut back into the open space. What am I seeing? He's done so well as well to get around that player. He's in. Give him the through ball. Oh, that's such a good pass from Giroud. Oh, a very slow down touch, but then he takes an instant acceleration touch. Okay. Decent dribbling. Just couldn't get the pass, and he isn't going to fight for it. Can I get around the corner there? Oh, that's perfect. Ball around him. He moves the keeper. We are going to get the guaranteed finish. I'm telling you, that skill move, the LBRB flick. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's actually called a directional nutmeg, I think it is. That skill move, oh, wow. It's so, so good this year. Go for it again. I'm telling you, boys. Look how good it is with him as well. He does it so fast. Ball roll. Hill to hill. Going to try to get down this line. There you go. Can I cut it back? Mason Mount. Giroud. No, that would have been a well-worked goal as well. Going to try to turn him inside out. Is it going to work? It is going to work. I'm cutting in, into the inside. Oh, my... Oh, come on. That was really nice dribbling from him. Like, previously, I was sitting there with the left stick dribbling, R1 dribbling. And I must admit, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But him with the skill moves does feel way, way better than just, like, the normal L1 dribbling and R1 dribbling, you know? Like, the skill moves come off very nicely with him. Give it to Giroud. Well played. Is he, he should make that run up. Please make the run up. I must admit, boys, he's movement in the striking position. There is times that you can really see that it's not the greatest. Like, there's that run right there. He should probably stop the run he's making down and then make that movement going up. But he doesn't really do it. Give it to Giroud. Well played. He's, he's in behind. There you go. He's in behind. And he should have the pace to not get caught up to. I'm going to smash it towards a near post. And I'm Is it a penalty? It is going to be a penalty. I was wondering, by the way. I was like, no way the shot literally went towards the near post. I shot that across goal and it apparently went near post. But it clear day that he obviously got a clip on it. Let's see. 85 penalties. All right. We're going to go for the chip towards the top bins. And hopefully, we can hit it into the back of the net. It is going to be a yellow timed. Oh, yeah. I thought for a second it was going to hit post and come out. But we do get the goal. Give it to him here. Nice. Game in behind quickly. Well played. Keep going. Keep going. I'm telling you, his pace is without a doubt the best thing about him. Like, he is so fast at getting in behind players. It is ridiculous. Varane, that's going to be another penalty. That's embarrassing. That is no way, no way a penalty. I understand, you know, I'm doing my little, little dribbling inside the box. But come on, like, how cheap is that? We're going to, should we go for the same thing? Why not? I reckon he's probably going to read it, but let's see if we can... Get him on the same place, same position. He is going to kind of read it, but he doesn't move towards that direction first. Pass it all the way up. Well played. He's down the line now, so we are going to see how he actually performs there. I know for a fact that he's going to perform well because of the pace and what he can actually do on the ball like this right here. Can I? Oh, I just couldn't get it to Mahrez. I'm going to be honest, boys. In the striker position, he was okay there, but it was his movement that I feel like let, let him down in a lot, and I mean a lot of occasions. So if you're going to get this guy, play, as, play him as a winger. Like, it's clear of day that his pace is going to be so useful down the line, it's going to be ridiculous. Deco, play that ball down the line. Keep going. Ball rolling to the inside. Hit. Oh, wrong skill move. Wrong skill move. Can we recover? We can recover. Can we go for that cross goal finish? We can go for that cross goal finish. The skill move literally just screwed up the whole attack. But we did obviously recover and we are going to get the finish. I'm telling him to make a run. I'm going to hit it now. Yeah, it's going to be perfect. He's going to be in behind. His stamina is quite low right now. But we're going to see what we can actually do. Oh, the dribbling when the stamina is low ain't the greatest. So we're just going to pass it off. I thought he was going to make that run, but he didn't really do it. Ball roll into the inside. It's going to be three penalties in the same game. Varane, I don't know what you're doing, bro. But, I like, just tackle properly, apparently. 
because you apparently keep making contact with the person before the ball. But we are going to have our third penalty of the game. And there's only one thing we're going to do. We're going to go to the left side this time, all right? Listen, left side is not my comfortable zone, all right? But I can still try to score a goal. I've red-timed it. I've red-timed it. Now, what am I doing? What am I doing? So it is time to review and we ended up playing two games with Machis. We scored six goals and we got ourselves a single assist as well. Now without a doubt, he's a good card. A card that should be played in that winger position no matter what. In the striker position, he wasn't terrible there, but he hasn't got that natural striker like movement, you know. So it is very, very like weird time to time and I don't really like it personally. So for me, I'll definitely play this card down the line and it's simple as that. Now, do I believe the card will be getting upgraded? No. I just don't. Straight up, no. Listen, 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 listen. I, I'm a Manchester United supporter. I can't be sitting there saying Granada's going to beat United. What kind of supporter would I be, you know? So I would say Granada is 100% going to be losing. So most likely this card is not going to be getting upgraded. If that comes back and bites me in the ass. <sighs> there's not much to say there really isn't because i know there'll be clips people send me on twitter people are sending me on tiktok people are sending me on instagram and probably this comment section as well will be full and i mean full of people just saying up the granada or something either way boys this card right here do i believe he's worth 160k i do if you are thinking of playing a la liga team for the rest of fifa but if you are sitting there and you don't feel like you're going to be using a la liga team at all then obviously don't get him because the links when it comes down to the nationality is not great and the links when it comes down to the club is not great either it's literally only the league you can link this guy up with either way let's get into the ratings pace wise he was an extremely fast player and i did say multiple times it's the best thing about him right so for pace i am gonna give him i'll probably say like a 9.5 out of 10 really really fast shooting ability it was low-key inconsistent. Even though he scored six goals in two games, I felt like there were so many good opportunities that he ended up missing. And it is going to low-key you know, be because of the composure, being 79, where there is going to be some tight situations that he needs to kind of compose himself. And obviously, you know, it goes straight to the keep, and that's when the composure goes out the window. So for shooting, I am going to give him... It's not terrible, but it's not great. So I'll give him like an 8.5 out of 10. Passing ability, it was just quite simple, let's say. There wasn't nothing special about it. It was quite average, you know? So for passing, I'll give it, I'll probably say like an 8.3 out of 10. Dribbling ability, this is where I thought he was going to shine. This is where I thought he was going to show me that he was an insane dribbler on the ball. Now, he was a good dribbler, but he wasn't no insane dribbler, you know? He was a player that I felt like you know, kind of slacked in the R1 dribbling and the elastic dribbling type. But then as soon as you came down to the skill moves, the skill moves are coming off very, very nicely with this guy. But yeah, I thought the elastic dribbling and the R1 dribbling was going to be so, so good. And I thought I was going to sit here and probably compare him to like a, a Lionel Messi kind of dribbling. But I can't do that. I really can't because he didn't feel that, that good, I would say. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll honestly say like an 8.6 out of 10. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't insane. Physicals. He used a decent amount of strength. The one thing that I felt like he didn't have a lot of was the aggression. I didn't feel like he had 83 aggression. And I definitely didn't feel like he was fighting for the ball. So that was a little bit annoying on obviously on that kind of side. But hey, when it comes down to the physicals, I'm still going to give it a reasonable rating. And it is going to be, I'll probably say like an 8.3 out of 10. I feel like that's reasonable. And when it comes down to an overall rating out of 10, hmm. He's not like a super insane card. He really isn't. But I'm going to give him a decent rating. And it is going to be an 8.5. I would say an 8.5 on the dot. You know, it's not an insane card. I can tell you that right now. It's not an insane card. But it's not a card that impressed me. And that's annoying because looking at these stats, you think to yourself, wow, this card is going to be outrageously good. But he wasn't. He really wasn't. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace. Thank you.